What is up guys? Today on Iceberg TV, I've got one of the most anticipated Discmania drops we've seen in a long time. We've got the brand new P3X in the S-Line plastic. This is one of those molds that have been floating around the Discmania collector market for a long time. They're very collectible, very high value. That's because it's one of the few really solid overstable putters that Discmania had ever produced. And now we're finally seeing it in the new S-Line plastic, a proper production run. Finally, those of you that throw this disc no longer need to seek them on collector pages. You can just go get them right from Discmania, or you can get them from my sponsor, Power Grip USA. You can save 10%. My link in the description down below, use code ICEBERG10. If you spend over $40, anything ships for free. The flight number's 3203. I have not thrown it yet. Reedy Creek, hole one, 272. I'm gonna take the hyzer route. I expect her to be real beefy. Yeah, that's absolute super beef. I think you guys are really gonna like the flight of this thing if you really want a true overstable putter. And the rumor is that Gannon would prefer to putt with the P3X. Um, to my understanding, Discmania is encouraging him to throw all new Discmania molds, trying to steer him away from some of the old Innova stuff. He's been putting with Lynx, but I expect Gannon will eventually putt with the P3X in a more baseline plastic. So we will do a few putts with it today just to see how she putts. Oh, it's, I mean, if you putt as hard as Gannon does, you need a super stable putter like that. I, I like glide more than I like stability on my putting putters, but that's just me. Hole three, 237. This tee pad is ultra slick, but I'm gonna try and put this out on a flex line. Really test out the stability here. That first throw, it seemed quite overstable, which is exactly what you guys are gonna want from this disc. Oh, if the tree hit, fade. Lucky shot of all time. Let's go, birdie putt. Hole three, 277 foot par three. You really don't want to fade left. So this is going to be a difficult disc for me to keep on the right side of the fairway. I'm going to try and put a lot of Anheuser on it. Really give the stability a good test here. It actually held that Anheuser line a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought it was gonna wanna flex out much quicker, similar to something like an approach disc would, but it does have a nice bit of glide to it. It's gonna hold the line through probably 75 to 80% of the flight before it really starts to swing at the end, which is a really attractive and unique flight for very specific lines. Hole four, 214, par three. Let's try a little more direct line this time. Oh, hole five, 226. This is a pretty long hole for me to get there with this P3X. Definitely needs quite a bit of height and a little bit of Anheuser. I think I'm overdoing it on the Anheuser. Ah, but you don't put enough Anheuser on it and it's gonna get over there quick. It's absolute beefcake. Those of you who have been missing the P3X, it's finally back and it's more overstable than ever. Hole six, 280 foot par three. This is gonna require basically the perfect shot, but if I can hit the line, I do think this is the exact right disc for the shot. And that right there is exactly what the P3X is made for. Long pushing lines, but with an ultra consistent fade to the left of the end. We did catch a tree at the end, uh, but that was the exact line you need to birdie this hole. And as Discmania continues to develop new molds within the new lineup, certain discs are going to come and go that gain popularity and some that people just don't really mess with or they just want to bag the older runs of them. And that's totally fine. But I do think the people that did fall in love with the P3X back in the day, it's, it's nice to know that you can finally buy a new P3X. All right, hole seven, 263 downhill. Another good hole for the P3X. If we can hit the gap, it's gonna hold straight just as long as it needs to and the basket's down to the left. So we can hit the gap. I expect the disc to be able to do the rest. Oh man, not having great tree luck today. I feel like those last few holes I threw really well. Man, someone decided I've had enough of these trees and that's about how I'm feeling today. Someone hit this tree on the left one too many times. Looks like they put the saw in the bag today. That's crazy. This traditionally is not a disc I would really think to forehand. 
it is very stable and I like forehanding stable discs. It doesn't have an approach disc feel in hand. It feels nothing like a tactic or a harp. It definitely feels a lot more like a putting putter or a deep dish style putter. Um, but we'll try and forehand it on these last two holes, see if we can make something happen. 230, dead straight par three. Oh. Wow, I almost got the tree ace. And at red, as I say, I don't think it's a forehand disc. Doesn't really feel like a great forehand disc to me. I throw my best shot of the day, the round so far with it. All right, last hole of the day, hole nine. Again, I just said this doesn't feel like a great forehand disc for me, but I throw my best shot of the day with the forehand. We've got one more forehand hole here to wrap it up. Put it up in the air and a little bit of Annie, beat the corner, and hopefully she finishes to the right. It has a really nice forehand approach flight, but I really just wouldn't tend to reach for a deep dish style disc for forehand shots. But if you don't mind that feeling hand in your forehands, then it could potentially be a really good forehand disc for you as well. All right, guys, that is nine holes with a brand new P3X in the S-Line Plastic from Discmania. Again, the side profile, it's pretty flat on top, doesn't have a ton of glide, which is really handy for upshots so you don't go too far past the basket. You don't want glidey upshot discs. You want something that has as low glide as possible, in my opinion. And the P3X has exactly that. So it's got a big bead on it. It's a big bead over stable putter. Kind of feels like a flatter KC Pro AVR to me. Again, this S-Line Plastics quite stiff, which I'm also a fan of. As far as backhand shots go, I do really enjoy the P3X and something that I'm going to experiment with going forward as an overstable throwing putter to complement my Luna and some of the other putters in my bag. For forehand shots, I don't love the feel in hand for forehand, but as you saw in those last two holes, it performed just fine. It had plenty of torque resistance and stability for some relatively firm, um, just under 300 foot forehand shots. And yeah, it performed really well. Um, it's nice and overstable. But again, this is one of those molds that the Disc Maniacs have been waiting for for a long time. If you want to get one for yourself, go check out my sponsor, Power Grip USA. Use my code ICEBERG10 to save 10% on your order over at their website. You can also save 20% on my signature minty green V4. Use my code ICE20 to save 20% on your order. You guys are watching Iceberg TV. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.